Hi and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use StagePlan. Uh, here you've got the video, which is this video. Underneath your purchase options for MultiPlan or ProPlan. In the top right, we've got an account. This is where you can change your email address, your password, subscribe and delete your account. Underneath the option to log out. Uh, if we scroll down, we've got quite a lot of plots here. Um, majority are these multi plans, which are the subscription. And we also have a pro plan, which is the buy once. And we're going to mess around with a pro plan today, although functionality wise, they are the same. First of all, we'll give this a better name. Okay, the Lone Rangers, we'll click edit. And let's give the project a name as well. The project is the actual name of the band, the Lone Rangers. And instruments, let's start with the drums and we'll do this for Pip. Drag there, actually I'm going to right click and I'm going to just choose the option to show display options because I want the member name. There we are. There was also free text there as well or instrument name as well. Awesome. Okay, now if we add the instrument um, monitor. I think we need a monitor, the one facing away from us, that's a pip, and we should give it a better name, this monitor is not that useful, drum monitor makes it a bit clearer. So I'm going to right click on this, I'm going to flip it, and then I'm going to resize, put that in the right place, excellent. I'm going to speed this video up now as I build the plot out. As you can see, everything is auto saving, there's no option to save manually either. So this is for their acoustic set, we should be coming to the end here. Um, you can also duplicate instruments, um, normally you can just re-add, I'm going to show you duplicate just to demonstrate it. This is useful for orchestras who want to have 10, 15, 30 violins, violas, whatever the case may be. I need to edit this, change it from Pip to Rex and also give it a better instrument name so it'll be for the bass. Cool, with that done, let's go to the input list. Um, I've got a few things here, I'm going to do first of all a kick drum, I'm not going to fill this out, it's just a demo. So we'll do a kick with a D112, a mini boom. Actually, I'm going to show you something. Uh, up here, we can remove unused columns from the PDF. You can see we've got the autocomplete there as well. Um, that will also show in the monitor. So control spacebar will display that, or, which I guess is command space if you're on a Mac. Or you can just type and if it sees the characters, it'll pop up. So in this case, we wouldn't have effects or notes being um, shown in the PDF because there's nothing in those columns. It also had a, the ability to change uh, order and just like this, we'll change the order here. We'll put Rex in the right place. We can make that a 12 string. On the right hand side, you can exclude individuals from the PDF as well as the entire page, which was on the top left just there. Contact details, we'll put this on every single page in the PDF, just in case the PDF printout gets distributed. Hospitality Rally demonstrating, you can bold, italic and underline. Now let's create the PDF. You can change your font size, you can change the style. Uh, click on that, speed the time up, download. Uh, let's go and click on that. So you can see we've got the plot, top right the band name, bottom left the contacts, middle front of stage, and the bottom right is the page number. There's our member details, which we wanted, an example of the hospitality rider, and the input list, and as you can see, without those additional columns, such as the notes or the effects column. We'll also demonstrate that if you don't have the PDF, you can just share this URL. So if the engineer has access to the internet and has this, they can see all the information there. You can see you've got an input list, band member details, etc., uh, excluding things like hospitality rider. And lastly, um, we're going to copy the plot back to another. There we go. We've now got a duplicate for the Lone Rangers. And we'll just show you how to clear it as well. There it is on the left. Uh, click on that, uh, yep, and it'll just change automatically. There we go.